Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to talk about DAW. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about is Reaper, and the reason why is because I tried to use Cakewalk, and it just didn't seem to be working for me the way I want to, because all I'm doing is audio, and I think that Audacity was actually easier to use than uh, Cakewalk was. But then I was watching a different YouTube channel and it's called Booth Junkie. And someone left a message on one of my videos and they were talking about, about a microphone or something like that. I can't quite remember. And uh, so then I started watching like a little bit of his uh, videos. And then he had talked about what DAW he used, which was uh, Reaper. And so I started watching it a little bit more and trying to see why he was using it. And I found videos on his site that uh, talked about how to use it and how to set it up. And that was the reason why he was using it was because you could set it up for like basically just audio if you wanted to and you didn't have to see any of the music stuff in there because you could change all the layouts around and then you didn't have to see all the other stuff if you weren't using it. So I thought that to be able to configure it like the way he was saying and the reason why he liked it would make sense to me. So that's what I've been doing over the last little while. I've been trying to figure out how to use Reaper. And he goes through a lot of the stuff um, and I set it up the way he did. And I've been trying to put this video out for probably about three days now. But there was one thing I couldn't figure out how to do, and that was how to adjust like little clips of noises. Because sometimes I go like this, and I don't want to cut it out. I just want to lower the volume of it. And I know how to do it in Audacity, but I couldn't figure out how to do it in Reaper. So I was looking around today and I saw how to do it on a different channel and I forgot to look to see what the name of that channel was. But anyway, I will let you know later on what channel that was. So that's basically what I've been doing. And this video is actually a test um, so that I can use Reaper as my DAW, which is your digital audio workstation, and seeing if I can do the editing on it, uh, the audio editing that is, I hear that it'll do video editing also, but I'm going to stick with DaVinci Resolve right now because one thing to learn at a time is enough for me. Uh, once I get Reaper down a little bit more, then I will try to see what uh, Reaper does for video editing. That's pretty much all that I have for today. Uh, if you hear some extra noises in here, that means I didn't do a very good job at doing the audio editing, but I'll try my best and see what I can do. My video is less than five minutes long this time, so that's great. So, if you uh, liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. If uh, you like the content, then uh, please hit uh, subscribe and click the bell if you want notifications. Otherwise, you won't get them. And I do want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye.